welcome back to TBR Cluedo! Hello, if you're new here, this is my TBR game that we play every single month, themed off of Super Cluedo. If you're American, I know it's Clue, but to me it's Cluedo, so that's what we've called it. There's different rooms which each correlate to a genre, and then I get a prompt that I have to fulfill with a book that's that genre and fits that prompt, is basically how this goes. How are we doing, everyone? Got to be one of the worst days I think I've ever had. <laughs> Being deadly serious. <laughs> I want to level with you straight up. I am not very well. I've had like a sickness bug for the last couple days and I'm just honestly fed up. So I'm just filming even though I'm still not feeling very well. So this is probably gonna be quite quick. We're probably gonna speed through to you know this month just because I don't think I'm gonna talk much. <laughs> Anyways. How are we all doing? I'm so excited for a lot of the videos I've got coming in August. Like, August is gonna be great vibes. I love August. August is just a feel good month, right? When you're at school in the UK, it's the month that you've got like the whole month off in the summer holidays. Like, August is summer. It's summer personified. And I am just so excited for a lot of the videos that I have got coming. So, without further ado, shall we just get into the first roll and find out what's gonna be on our TBR this month? Okay, time for roll number one. Person number eight, which is blue over there in contemporary. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a one and a one. Oh my God, okay, let's just go one, one. And that is number 12, which is a favorite author. Okay, fun. Okay, so the first role was a contemporary book that was from a favourite author of mine, and this is the one that I gave to my patrons to vote on, so they vote on one round of TBR Clue every month, and that ends up being our book club pick that they vote on. And the four options I gave them for contemporary books by a favourite author were Some Girls Are by Courtney Summers, Only on the Weekends by Dean Atta, Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas, and Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. Now the first three I own physically, <laughs> But of course they unanimously voted for everything I never told you, which is the one I don't own physically, so I can't hold it up for you. I really didn't think they'd go for this. I thought they'd maybe go for the Courtney Summers or Angie Thomas, but no, apparently we want to read everything I never told you by Celeste Ng. So it's on its way to me. I have ordered my copy. I don't know too much about what this plot is about. I loved Little Fires Everywhere. I read it on holiday one year and it was just such a wonderful book, but I've never read anything else by Celeste Ng, so let's read the synopsis a little bit. So we're following a Chinese American family in the 1970s. Lydia is a favourite child, but when Lydia's body is found in the local lake, the delicate balancing act that has been keeping the Lee family together is destroyed, tumbling them into chaos. Okay, I'm really excited to continue with Celeste Ng, and I think this was her debut. I thought that the way that she wrote relationships and the way that she, I just loved her writing so much in Little Fires Everywhere, and I've been really excited to pick up another book from her. So this is going to be our book club pick for August. If you want to join us, the link is always down below to join my Patreon. We have such a fun time over there. We do weekly reading sprints. I have exclusive videos. I do an exclusive reading vlog for every book that's in the book club. If you ever want to join us, the link's always down below. We're almost at 200 patrons, which has always been a big goal for me, <laughs> which is to reach and kind of like stay at, because it always like fluctuates numbers on Patreon for every creator but I'd love to like get to and stay at 200 because 200 just sounds nice I like even numbers so 200 <laughs> sounds better than 100 and something so if you want to help us we think I need I think we need like 10 more um if you want to help us come join us because it's a lovely community there's a discord it's a great community of people so yeah that's what we're going to be reading I'm really excited I feel like it'll be a good one probably for a book club we'll have a lot of discussion about it roll number two Person number two, which one's that? My phone's locked. <laughs> That's purple up here in mystery. Okay, let's see how many we roll. We've got a three and a five. Okay, what should we go to? Let's go. Hmm. <laughs> One, two, three, four. No. Hmm. Uh. What, what can I get to in three or five? One, two, three. Oh gosh. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there we go. That is number 28, which is a book I've never seen on booktube. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Roll number two was a mystery I've never seen on booktube. And for this one, I'm going for another book that I don't own physically yet. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I just like all the books this month I'm not going to show you. For this, I'm going with The Fatal Flying Affair by T.E. Kinsey. This is the next in the Lady Hardcastle mystery series. I want to read, there's quite a few, like, in the next series. <laughs> the next ones in the series, they'll all, like, take place in the summer, and I want to read them throughout the summer. And I've never seen anyone speak about Lady Hardcastle other than me, really. Or, like, because they read it because of me. I am, I am the Lady Hardcastle stan number one. <laughs> 
I'm a massive fan of the dictionary. You know, we should be like promoting the dictionary. So I thought I'd go with this one because I've never seen anyone read this one in particular. This is on its way to me also. By the way, so I always say, if you're gonna read these, just listen to the audiobooks, right? If you're like thinking of trying this series out, it's set in the Edwardian times in England. We've got Lady Hardcastle and her maid Flo, but they're really besties. They used to be spies for Britain and now they've retired to this like quaint English town in the English countryside that turns out to be the murder hotspot of the world. And so even though they've retired, they're still like solving murders, taking names, solving crimes, you know what I mean? They're like, they're bad bitches basically. And this is like the, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is the seventh. Oh my God, I'm quite far in the series. Yeah, this is the seventh in the series and I am fuming. I am actually fuming because the price for the editions, the physical editions has gone up. <laughs> I always say to you, just listen to audiobooks if you want to try these out. But for me, because I love this series so much, I do want to own them physically and like read along physically. But the audiobooks are where it's at. The audiobook narrator is incredible for this series. They've raised the price. They were always $4.99, the paperbacks. It was so cheap, $4.99. Now they're all like £8 something. I'm convinced it's my fault. It's my fault. I should have gatekept. I should have gatekept Lady of <laughs> Mysteries because more of you have been reading it and they've put the price up on Amazon and I'm fuming. I think it's kind of like self-published by Amazon. I think the publisher is one of Amazon's like self-publish houses that they have. So it kind of is self-published, this series. And um, yeah, I'm fuming. Like what? These were $4.99 and they've gone up to eight back. And I should have just bought this one when it was $4.99, but I didn't and I've had to pay eight, like double the price. So I'm not happy. <laughs> this one, I mean, we're seventh in the series, but I think this one we're following uh, Lady Hardcastle's brother and there's like a flying event, like airplane event that they're at and a murder happens is basically what we need to know. Um, and I'm really excited because I love these girlies. They're the best. I adore them. They're my faves. <laughs> Roll number three. Person number one, that was on one. <laughs> I touched it. Number one, which is green. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a five and a two. We will go one, two, three, four, five. And that is number 30. Oh my God, 30 is the wild card. So I can pick anything I want. <laughs> Roll number three was a wild card. And this means I can pick any book on my TBI. It's not constrained by genre. It is any book that I want to read. And this book, the book I'm picking, we're gonna read Yellow Face. Ah. <laughs> We're gonna read Yellow Face. I'm so excited. This is for a pretty, um, what's what I'm looking for? Ambitious video. <laughs> so I'm a little bit nervous, but we're gonna be reading Yellow Face. And this is one of the books I am most excited to read. This is RF Kwong or Rebecca Kwong, Rebecca F Kwong, cause that's her name on this solid book. I guess her fantasy might be more RF Kwong and then her more literary contemporary stuff. Cause I think she's coming out with loads of different genres of stuff. Might be Rebecca, I don't know, interesting. But um, look at the sprayed edges, yep. I know. <laughs> I am so excited for this. You probably all know what this is about. We're following our main character who's kind of frenemy dies. She's the only one there and she steals the manuscript that that uh, friend had been working on. The friend was an Asian woman. This protagonist is a white woman and she steals the, the manuscript, which is about, I think like, I remember her talking about it at the talk I went to, but it's something to do with Asian identity and history. And she steals it, kind of gives herself an amb racially ambiguous name, literary name and like appearance and stuff. And it's kind of the, yeah, the uh, tale of that all going wrong, I guess. I'm really excited. It's satire. I think it's going to poke fun at the publishing industry a lot and kind of illuminate a lot of the problems with the publishing industry and Arf Kwan can do no wrong. So we're finally going to read Yellow Face, everyone. I'm so excited. I'm a bit nervous. But um, yeah, I'm really, really excited to see how it goes. Roll number four, person number seven, which is brown over there in romance. Let's see how many we roll. Oh, we got a five and a two again. I think we can maybe get the rose prompt. Can we reach that? If we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my God, perfect. Okay, so we have the rose prompt, which means one of my patrons is gonna pick what I read. Roll number four was the rose prompt. So when everyone joins my patron, no matter what tier you are, you get to pick two books off of my TBR that you would like me to read and it gets put into a jar. And when I get the rose prompt, I pick one out. Now, if you're a regular TBR Cluedo viewer, you may be thinking the jar looks way emptier than it was. I was like struggling with how full it was. I took everything out. <laughs> And I rewrote all the ones that I haven't read yet. Cause obviously I've been, my patron has existed now for like almost two years. Really? 
No. Yeah. Almost two. Almost two years. <laughs> That's scary. So there was a lot of books that had been picked throughout the years on TBR Cluedo that I've now since read. So I took everything out and I rewrote them all. It took me a lot longer than I thought it would. So now we've got all books that I haven't read in here and we've got a lot more space. So we've got to pick one out. Uh, it shouldn't be one I've read unless I've read it in the last couple of weeks. Let's pick one. Let's see. What is that? <gasps> the Golden Spoon? <gasps> That's a good one. What am I going to read that for though? <laughs> okay, let's see who's picked the golden spoon. Let's search. Alex has picked it. Anyone else? Oh yes, Macy and Mindy. Oh, a lot of people. And Amina. I think it's the most we've ever had. Usually when we do too perfectly though, when we get the rose prompt, it's always one that like only one person has picked. But so we have got Alex, Macy, Mindy, and Amina have all made me read The Golden Spoon. Okay, I am so excited. That is such a good one. Okay, we are gonna be reading The Golden Spoon by Jessa Maxwell. I am so excited. <laughs> you know what's the most exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. This is quite short as well. It's only like 250 pages. So, oh no, 270. Okay, I lied. I lied a little bit. The Golden Spoon is the Great British Bake Off meets murder, essentially. As someone turns up dead on the set of TV's hottest baking competition, the contestants must band together in search of a killer before one of them is next in the, is the next elimination. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> I have heard mixed things about this, okay? This is a 2023 release and I've heard mixed things, but I am just gonna go into it with an open mind and an open heart, you know? <laughs> I'm not expecting the greatest work of literature from this. I'm not expecting the greatest writing. I'm expecting fun and camp, right? And if it delivers on that, I will be happy. So I'm really excited. What a good pick, everyone. I have no a video. I'm gonna read this one. I was gonna read The Lady Hardcastle though, and I can't read both for the video, but I can read this. So we will read that. I don't know when we'll read Lady Hardcastle now. <laughs> don't know when's that, when that's gonna happen. But um, I'm so... I can't tell you how excited I am. Like, this feels like it was made for me. I love Great British Bake Off. I love Murder Mysteries. I love camp. So, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Wow. We're gonna have fun. That's exciting. Role number five. Person number five, which is white over here in non-fiction. See how many roll. Whoa. We got a one and a six. Can we get to the dagger? Uh, one, two, three four, five, six, seven. Okay, fun, we've got the dagger, which is a random number generator. Roll five was a random number generator. <laughs> the dagger, which is a net random number generator, and I can pick, do I want it to random number generate in that genre that the room it was in, or do I want a random number generator across my whole TBR? We're gonna do the whole TBR today, guys. We're feeling fast and loose. This may take forever, because <laughs> It's quite a large TBR. If it gives us a large number, we've got to count a lot. I currently have, according to Goodreads, 237 books on my physical TBR, which I don't want to talk about it, okay? That's really bad. Um, we'll talk about that more next week in a video I've got coming, actually. Unless it's a book that I have got planned for a specific video, then we'll read whatever it picks. If it's a book I've already got planned for a specific video, we'll have to pick again. Okay, 237, generate. 50. Okay, that'll be a newer addition. That'll be something I've probably bought this year. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. <gasps> okay, that's a good one. Never mind. Okay, Nettle and Bone by Tina Turner. 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 Okay, Nettle and
that I debated reading as my first book of the year because it was a five star prediction. I have to start the run of five star and I've read the other two now. I read Legends and Lattes in that video, it was a five star. I read Our Wives Under the Sea in For Summer Ween and that was a four star. And now we're gonna read this. So this is one of the books I'm most excited to read. I've now read my first Tea Kingfish. I read What Moves the Dead, but it, that wasn't one of the ones I was most excited for. This is one of the ones. Oh, it's gifted to me by one of my patrons, Maya. Thank you, Maya. So yeah, I don't know too much about this. I know it's one of her kind of fairy tale fantasy books. Oh yeah, she has to like, she's offered the tools to kill a prince, but she has to complete three impossible tasks and we're all with her on the quest. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, I know what video I'm reading this for as well. This is gonna be a fun video. I know what video we're reading this for. I'm excited. This is the vibe. t Cluedo has been kind to me. <gasps> I'm really excited. Okay, we're gonna be reading <laughs> <laughs> Nettle and Bone by T. King Fisher. And I feel like this is gonna be five stars. I feel like this is gonna be five stars. And roll six, final roll. That is person number three. My phone's locked again. I am not with it today. <laughs> Which is red over here in historical. Let's see how many we roll. We've got a two and a four. What can we get to with that? Can we go one, two, three, four, five, six? Perfect. And that is number one. And that is a new to me author. So Roll Six was a historical book with a new to me author and I'm going to be reading The Stationery Shop by Majan Kamali. I know nothing about this. I'm reading it for a video that you guys don't know about and I basically have no choice but to read it. I bought it for that video. This wasn't on my TBR beforehand. It's set during the political upheaval of 1953 Tehran. I'm really excited. I think we've got these characters kind of coming in and out of each other's lives. It's historical. I think it's quite a powerful, emotional book. I don't really want to know too much going into it. This is kind of like a wild card of that video for me. The other books in the video were ones that I've been excited to read, ones that I've been like looking forward to reading, books that are already on my TBR, and this one wasn't, and I kind of want to go into it knowing nothing, but please let me know if you've read this in the comments down below, and kind of your thoughts, and whether you enjoyed it, because I would love to know. So yeah, don't know much about it, but I haven't read a lot of, I, when I was younger I used to read a lot of like historical, emotional, literary fiction, and I don't really read a lot of that anymore, so I'm excited to get back to something like that, and this has had great great reviews, so I'm excited to see what I think of it. Okay, so that is my August TBR Cluedo. I'm really happy with the books that have been picked. I feel like that's a really good selection of books. Please let me know what you thought of any of these books. Have you enjoyed them? Which ones are you excited to see me read? And thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you very soon in another one. Bye!